Nothing can compare to a homemade apple pie. A tender, flaky crust and juicy filling. And it's easier than you think. Hi, I'm Kristen from the Betty Crocker Kitchens and I'm going to show you how to make apple pie. To make the pastry for the pie, place the flour and salt into a large bowl. Cut in the cold shortening using a pastry blender or fork. The colder your shortening, the better. Keep blending until the particles are the size of small peas. Now add ice cold water to the mixture, just one tablespoon at a time. The water needs to be very cold, so place some ice cubes in your water to get it to the right temperature. This helps to set the shortening and make the crust flaky. Toss with a fork after each addition of water until the pastry starts to leave the side of the bowl. Refrigerate the dough for 30 to 45 minutes, which makes the pastry much easier to roll. Roll one ball of pastry on a floured pastry cloth, wax paper, or the counter. Roll from the center to the outside edge. You can also use your fingers to keep the outside edge the perfect shape. Fold your pastry into fourths and gently lift it and place it into your pie plate. Unfold and then gently press it into place. Press lightly, but try not to stretch the dough. Stretching will cause shrinking during baking. If you happen to have a little crack or a tear in your dough, just dip your finger in a little bit of water, get it kind of wet, and then pinch it back together. Use a small paring knife or scissors to trim the excess dough off the edge. I've cut the apples into thin slices and tossed them with sugar, flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. Spoon evenly into the pastry and top with small pieces of butter. I've used a mix of apples today, a tart Granny Smith and a slightly sweet Brayburn. I love the combination of the two, plus they have different textures. You can use whatever you like. Roll out the remaining ball of dough and then place it on top of your apples. Press it gently and then fold the top layer underneath the bottom layer and pinch it to seal it. Now you're ready to flute. This is a pinch type of flute, but have fun with it. With a small paring knife, cut some small slits in the top for venting. For a crispy top, brush the top of your pie with a little bit of water. And then sprinkle with some sugar. To keep the edges from overcooking, place a pie or a foil ring on top. I've heated my oven to 425. Bake 40 to 50 minutes or until golden brown and bubbles start to show through the slits. Mmm, it smells amazing. Let it cool about two hours before cutting. Delicious apple pie ready to serve.